we're giving banter! Bat rap! Woo! Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to a War Machine battle report. We're gonna go Crix versus Signar. Jordan, how's it going, Jordan? Pretty good. Jordan, the Overseer of All, is going to fight against me today. Jordan's played like 100 games. He, he's ridiculous. And it, it's good to fight against people that have fought a lot because although you'll get your butt kicked, you're gonna learn a lot. So in this game, expect mistakes. Expect me to make mistakes. Uh, Jordan, he, he shouldn't make mistakes. If he doesn't, bug him because he shouldn't make a 100 game. But if I make mistakes, tell me, leave a comment, let me know. I'm still learning this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're doing 13 points. Crix versus Signar. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be fielding. Starting with the Crix army, I am going to be fielding the Crix battle group. This is, this is exactly what you get in the box. So. The reason why I'm doing this is because I still want to learn how to play with... I played one game with Aiden, our press ganger. He showed me how to play and this is the army that I fielded against him. So I'm going to field this army until I become somewhat expert in it. Probably a good idea. Play multiple games with this army and build from there. Because I do have a death jack back there and I'm excited to field him, but not yet. I'm not excited to face him. How many points is he? Do you know? 12, I think. Is he 12? Yeah, it's a lot. So what you're saying is I can field my... Warcaster with just him uh, and then some. Should I do that? You could. Would that be fun for you? Sure. Would it? I'll take him on. You'll take him on? I will. Well, you know what? I don't want to do that. That'd be embarrassing for him because I'll probably lose with him because I don't know how to use him yet. It's true. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to hold off. And uh, how do you like your army jacket? I do. I love this jacket. Nice and I wear thick. It. Yeah. Feel like a general? I do. I'm in command of my forces in the forest here. Did you say forces in the forest? Yeah, what's well, like woodsy and stuff. Did you say woodsy? Woodsy. Okay. Like, I, just trying to follow you here. Woodlike. Woodlike. Similar to woods, but miniaturized for a miniature war game. Makes sense. <laughs> Denegra. She's the war witch. I'm not feeling the wraith witch. All right, I'm just trying to teach myself here. All you guys already know this. You're probably thinking, Dave, man, you just got to learn the names of these guys. All right, so we have a Slayer, and then we have two Bone Jacks and one Defiler. Yes, I have Deffy right there. He is spitting out his corrosive spewage, and he's going to be able to shoot people with that. That's my army. This is going to be fun. Let's take a look at what the Overseer of All is going to bring in this game. Lieutenant Alistair Kane uh, as my Warcaster. It's the Prime version also. Uh, and we're taking a Defender, a Sentinel, and a Hunter. All right, roll the seagulls first. Four. Four. One. So do I go first or I get to choose to go first? You get to choose. I get to choose. What's more advantageous? Um, it depends usually on your strategy and what you want to do. I have no strategy. I have no idea. Strategy? Yeah. Well, if you're new, it might be advantageous to watch someone go first so you can see what's going on. So if you want to go second, you can do it that way. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Since I'm going to die anyway, I'm just going to go first. All right. Take the initiative, charge in there, bust crap Give up, it. see what happens. Yeah. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do. And looking at this terrain, Dream Spirit Wargaming, thank you very much for making this, donating this terrain. It looks awesome, as usual. We're using three of your pieces that you have sent to us. Okay, so my point, very simple. Yours, very simple as well. Okay, so Denegra has seven focus. She's going to allocate focus one per Warjack. I want to run these guys up, because right now, they can't do much. The only guy that has range really is him. And I guess since they're arc nodes, they have range through her with her spells. She's got a few spells with range, but definitely not close enough to do anything. So I'm just gonna run everyone up. So the first guy I'm gonna activate is the Slayer. He's gonna run up this way. Okay, so for this, we're just gonna do a quick recap of what I did because it's nothing really special. All I did was move the guys up and I moved them into terrain, elevated them to give them plus two of their defense. It's a little tough for me to shoot at, Jay. Yeah, well, it's kinda, that's... It's kind of nasty. It's kind of rude of you. Like, really? I just wanna, I, well, you're you're invading my homeland, probably. A little bit. Taking everyone away. Doing horrible things to them. Steal your soul. Yeah, well, I like my soul, all right? So, Signar, turn one. You're just allocating focus. I'm going to give two to him. Two to the big guy. And I'm going to keep two for, for that dude there. Your sentinel is going to run eight inches. So, yeah. how far does he move? He could run up to 12. His speed is six. He's pretty quick, too. But I don't want to... You don't want to show off? You just don't want me to be able to charge you. Well, that's you. But I don't want to overextend. Gotta, that's not right. Too far out there. 
that's not nice of you now. Well, you're gonna be nasty and hide up on things. I'm gonna make sure you can't just charge me. Okay. That's the way it goes. Is that how it goes? Did you just say that's how it goes? Uh, I'm gonna activate Kane and I'm gonna cast a spell. Uh oh. And that spell is gonna be Snipe, which gives me plus four range to this dude right here. Did you know that I know a sniper? Oh yeah. And that he has sniped over 100 people? That's a lot of people. That is actually a lot of people. And he's the most unassuming person. You would never think it. Pretty scary. Isn't that scary? Pretty, yeah. No. Could be anyone, yeah. It could be me. It could be. Probably not. It's not? But maybe the fact that you're saying that it could be you and it's not, maybe just it isn't. You off. Yeah, just throwing it off, yeah. Whole unassuming Walmart attitude. Walmart play? That's what I heard. Yeah. No, I don't like Walmart either. Dave's playing War Machine. <laughs> so then he's gonna move up right here. So these are. Those are gone. Those are gone. Those are used. And I'm gonna use right, right there. Look at his action pose. Shut up. <sighs> Wow. It needs the sound effects too. It needed the Chinese sound effect, you're absolutely right. The defender is gonna activate, and he's gonna move up, and then he's gonna... Do nothing else? Oh, okay. No, he's gonna shoot. Oh. He's gonna shoot this guy right here. Shoot this unassuming guy. So I've got like 20 no, inches of range. Sniper. It's a lot of range. 20 inch way, range? Way over here. What's 20 inch range for? I have it, and I'm gonna use this one focus point here to boost my attack roll. Okay. Uh, your defense is normally 15. 20? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you're on the hill, so you get plus two, so it's 17. 17 defense. 17. That's a lot of defense. That's actually pretty impressive, isn't it? It's pretty impressive amount of defense. Yeah, it's like driving a car for the first time, and yep. it's like a Porsche. And you're like, yeah, I got a good car, I think. It's been an 11. And I got it, just barely. Did you just get 11 right on? Right, right on. on the, uh, the, uh, you don't have actual money. I don't, I don't think they really value that. In value souls. Yeah, soul is money. And skeletons and stuff like that. Yep. Although skeletons are outdated currency. Yeah. Souls are much better. Yeah, much more useful. Well, that's in short supply, so it's worth a lot more. Yeah. It's kind of like backing up your currency with gold. Yeah. Spend this other focus point on myself to boost the damage. Yep. And what's the uh, armor on that little guy? On this little, uh, on the little guy? I don't have little any guy. little guys. It's pretty little, little, little compared to mine. His armor is 14. 14. That's really low. Is it? My well, my gun's power is 50, so, so that means I'm gonna roll these three dice, yes. and I'm gonna add one, and that's gonna be how much damage you take. Oh, he's dead. He might he might live by a little bit. What? But he's he's not gonna like it. This red dice, it's gonna be uh, the damage location. So 11 damage to my here. six. Call him six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I still have my C, which is my cortex. My A, which is my um, awesomeness. Hunter is gonna move six inches into the woods. I don't really plan that out too well. I was gonna shoot at this guy, but the forest is too deep and I can't see through it. They're not gonna give me any pity points here now. What's that all about? That's not pity points. That's actually more planning on my thoughts. I thought I would get more like here. So you're wrong? Yeah, I was wrong. It was a tactical misstep. I like that phrasing. Tactical misstep. Yeah, sounds much better than I screwed up. Tactical misstep is a very positive yeah, way of looking.